<laughs> this is gonna be funny. So today we're out the field, and uh, Jason got this airplane, his aircraft here, and was playing with it a little bit. So tell us a little bit about this aircraft. Yeah, so this is the uh, E-Flight F-16. Uh, picked this up at the local local hobby shop, and uh, heard some good things about it. And I gotta say, everything I heard was true. Uh, flies really good. I think we got some good video of it. Flies pretty fast. Uh, we'll have to get a radar gun on it next time good. out. I'm probably 110 ish, I would guess, out of a dive. We'd actually have the radar gun today if I didn't uh, wash my car. There is that, so whatever. Um, but no, it, it, high alpha is really good. The AS3X system does a great job. This is straight out of the box. I just took put a um, took it and put a Thunder Power 3300 milliamp six cell battery in it, bound it to my DX9 Black Edition, and it, it's great. You know, I mean, uh, I did have to adjust one of the elevator servos. I mean. Come on, if like, get it, get it together. No, I mean, I've had, had just a linkage. Come on. Jeez. No, I mean, uh, you know, I've been, I've been reading online. Like I said, there's been a lot of good things. One guy was complaining last night, saying that anything that you have to use glue on can't be considered bind and fly. This should be called a kit. But it was literally like six drops of glue. That's funny. <laughs> and the people who uh, who do kit building, yeah. and you call a, an ARF a you kit. Call oh yeah, a kit. exactly. Yeah, so there's, there's no winning. There's so no E-Fly, just keep doing what you're doing. This thing yeah. is awesome. Uh, I really like some of the touches. You know, there's a lot of little plastic parts that add. No, that doesn't add scale realism. But there's like an intake over here. But the leading edge of the strakes here is is really nice and sharp, and it's uh, plastic molded, so that's not going to get dented. You know, if it were foam, you get dings in it, which is cool. You got the little. Uh, Detachable missiles that come off, which is kind of kind of nice if you want to fly it without. We flew it once with, once without. I didn't notice much difference. I mean, they're pretty light. There's not a lot of drag yeah. there. But the included 70 millimeter fan with it's a 12 blade fan. It sounds really that good for an good EF. And, it, and I was able to take off, go straight into a loop. I was able to come down in high alpha, Man, I and I was holding full elevator and just cruising by high alpha. And then I just gave full throttle and it actually climbed out. I didn't have to drop the nose power or anything. Yeah. So, out too. I mean, it's just a great combination. I mean, for $299 bind and fly, you just add a battery and bind it to your radio. It's a pretty darn good deal. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to get some more flights on it. I just put two flights on it today because I only have two batteries, but I'm really excited to you know put some more flights on it, maybe get some more batteries. Uh, I did pick up a second cockpit. Uh, I got a few buddies that have the same plane and we're talking about setting them up for FPV and trying to do some uh, Thunderbird style uh, formation flying. So I'm actually going to replace the pilot with a, a panning camera so I'll have head tracking so I can look around and try and get some formation flying. So look for a video following up with that and how we did that. It should be should be fun. It should be entertaining at the very least. Well, I know you definitely wanted to fly this more today yeah. and you were, you were totally bummed out that you couldn't. Definitely. the battery. And definitely. It, it flew nice. It yeah. really did fly nice. So, yeah, so definitely something to check out. You know, hit up your local hobby shop and, uh, you know, pick one up. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I, I'm, you know, EDFs over the years have really progressed. You know, it used to be you'd get like a minute and a half, two minutes. <laughs> now, I, I had the timer on this set at three and a half and a good high performance flight. The last flight, I landed at four and a half minutes total. And I'll, uh, I'll check the battery, see how, many, uh, how much capacity was left when I get home, and we'll put that. We'll Maybe put, put it up below. on the screen right now yeah. and down below. So, yeah, definitely uh, just a fun plane, man. I really I really enjoyed it. So I'm looking forward to get some more time on it. We'll have to do a, a follow-up video, see how everything holds up. You know, it's got the the struts have springs in them for, for handling the landing. And, yeah. uh, you know, everything, it's just fun. It's just yeah. a cool little plane, so. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, if you want to stay tuned and watch how we progress with this, and especially seeing the FPV flight, Make sure you subscribe down there, hit that little bell so you get notification. That way you'll see exactly when this video comes out or when the next video comes out showing that. Uh, we appreciate you subscribing. It does help us out quite a bit. We're looking at the 1,000 subscriber mark now. We're trying yeah. to get to that pretty soon. And uh, we will be having a little contest going about that. So stay tuned and subscribe. So takeoff was uneventful. Trim's pretty much right where it needs to be. She's fast, I like it. This is a fun plane. Out of the box, I'm liking it already. All right, so let's see how she does some slow rolls. A little bit of cross coupling on the rudder to aileron, but not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and slow her down. I heard the high alpha is fun on this. Let's see what she'll do. Nice 
slow. She slows down good. Okay, we're at an elevator. Where the AS3X is really nice. That an elevator, it's almost full elevator now, just that throttle. AS3X does a really good job of keeping it steady. No wing rock. And the down one, we're going to be a little bit faster, obviously. That's full elevator. Let's see if we can get a nice low pass down there when we get out there ways. Steering it around with the rudder. Man, this thing's solid, guys. Plenty of power to get it out, too. We got a minute left on our three and a half minute timer. What a fun plane. Okay, we got 30 seconds left, so we're going to get ready to land gear pass right here and down now. We got three wheels, yeah, we do, good to go. Get the speed up, nice thing as long as we get lined up, we know we made the run when we use that elevator, we found that out. This thing flies good. I'll just do a half reverse. Right on the next pass, I'm going to pull up at the end of the runway bench and I'll roll vertical.
Okay, next pass from the right. I'm gonna pull a full elevator right in front of me and see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and set up the landing. Gear down, very fast. 